clap again. All right. Highlights real. Welcome to Judge Anime by its cover for spring of 2018, I guess. So we're back. Normally, we started doing this thing at Anime Boston. Anime Boston just happened and we didn't go. But as usual, Anime Boston is the perfect time to completely prejudicedly, based on no evidence whatsoever, judge. Well, based on a paragraph <laughs> and an image. Yeah, based on almost no information. Uh, judge which anime in the upcoming season are going to be good and bad. So this is our third time doing it exclusively for YouTube. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Some things to talk about. So the number one thing that's been happening in the previous two episodes is that we're always referring to like these images that we're seeing of the show, and these are posters that are on AnnieChart.net, and we always got to thank AnnieChart.net for providing the information to make the show possible. Because I would not bother to figure this out on my own. No, if it wasn't for AnnieChart.net, we wouldn't be able to do this. Uh, and also, uh, I, the reason those images do not appear in the actual video that I'm making is because they're really tiny, low-resolution images, and this is an HD video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to insert them here. Right. Sort of like It how, might be there right now. It might be something here right now in my hands. Uh, <laughs> That is... Could be a poop. <laughs> I use a poop emoji for the test, right? You uh, put one in my hand here. Maybe. Uh, so the idea is that I put it up here, but then I'm still going to cut away to a different image that is high resolution because I don't know how well these are going to look, right? Because they're, they're really tiny compared to a, a nice 1080p video. Yeah, see, the one thing I miss about doing this live at a con, other than the fact that at Anime Boston we'd have like this giant crowd laughing so we'd know if like mm -hmm. it was working... But it didn't matter if the images were really low res because the projectors are really low res. That's usually. right, that's right. But your YouTube is 1080p or even 4K. You can just upload this at like 20p. I guess I get to scale the things up and make them all <laughs> pixelated too, right? Uh, and the only other bit of news is that in the future, I'm considering doing... Because almost all these anime that we're judging actually have very short tra official trailers on YouTube, right? Uh, that have all been uploaded by the production companies. So we're considering using those trailers instead of judging based solely on AnnieChart.net. I'm not doing that now because <laughs> this weekend is PAX East and I don't have a lot of time to edit this video. Um, so, but maybe next time for the summer anime we may do this. Let me know in El Comentos uh, whether you think that's a good idea. Should we go based on trailers, giving ourselves a bunch more information... But also... That might bring us from like 80% accuracy to 90%. Yeah, but making this video uh, more exciting. Yeah. So last season, I don't know what we got right and wrong because the only shows I ended up watching were... Devilman Crybaby. Right, we watched that one. That was great. I watched uh, Yo Pedal, which is exactly, yeah. exactly what I expected it would be. And the, the Junji Ito collection was what I expected it to be, but a little bit less crazy right then the it didn't give me the same experience of reading a junji ito manga i think because the production value was a little lower mm. uh than i anticipated right uh any animes you watched besides i've been i've been playing overwatch all right so tell us what we got right and wrong about the winter 2017 2018 season uh and of course in the future tell us what we got right and wrong about this season Let's begin. So, All right. the very first anime we must judge is... More Steins Gate? Steins Gate Zero. This is a prequel? So, you know, I heard of Steins Gate because I guess it's a big deal. But I've never actually seen even one second of Steins Gate. And as far as I know, it is a supernatural action anime. What's interesting, though, is that... All my friends who watch a lot more anime than I do never have anything to say about Steins Gate. Like, it never comes up. I mean... Okay. I mean, I see it on Twitter occasionally, again, you know, amongst the people who are, like, really into anime, yep. but not, like, the anime Twitter people who really know, right? It's sort of like the general anime fans who are going to love the hell out of it. Yeah. But the more, you know, hardcore, crazy anime fans. It's not like, say, Full Metal Alchemist, where you saw it in both areas at the same time. Right, no, the kind of person who would put on a Naruto headband, right, only current day, is watching Steins Gate. Yep. I just, I don't, the fact that... And I that guess no, it's popular enough to keep going. No one has ever given me guff for having not cared about Steins Gate, so I feel like I can keep not caring. All right, all right. All right, this is Boku no Hero Academia 3, so I've heard about this show. It's some sort of comedy show and an action show. I would watch this, and my Anna Twitter won't shut up about it. My, my social media won't shut up about it. But it, it is really the... feels like a Dragon Ball plus a comedy kind of thing. I can see why people are into it, and it's gotten to a third season. It's Bleach. 
Is it's it? more. I think it's more bleachy because uh, the people. Bleach I know. isn't that funny. This is supposed to be a funny show, and yeah. I think that's the reason people watch it. Is because like those first few episodes of Naruto were so funny, and then it's not funny after that. Yeah. And then the I, the impression I've gotten is that this show is like those first four episodes of Naruto, only keeps going. But it's also serious, and most people really focus much like on and what they did what they did with Bleach. The characters and their like own personal arcs is what people are really invested in in this uh, show. Okay. So again, I haven't seen even a single episode or even one minute of it. I've seen a little bit. I like, just know about it from internet. But what I would say is that all the people I know who really loved Bleach and then forgot about Bleach, they all moved on almost without exception to this show. Mm -hmm. So if you like Bleach, watch this. Right. If you didn't see Bleach, good. By the way, <laughs> there's a lot of uh, shows this season, so we got to move along pretty quickly. All right. Okay, Tokyo Ghoul, which is another show I've heard of. Uh, re, so I assume it's a new season. So I two, feel like the same two people... Year, two years have passed since their, I guess, their raid. So it's a two, you know, it's a two year later kind of thing. Yeah. So I don't know how many returning characters there are. I didn't see the original, obviously. But, you know, it's one of those team of people fighting monsters, sort of dark-ish kind of situation, right? But not spooky dark, but sort of like we're so badass and dark, right? It's listed as horror, mystery, supernatural, psychological. But, but that, know, that sounds like Boogie you know, Bob Phantom. Yeah, you know there's plenty of fighting going on, right? Yeah. I guess, is this better enough than Boogie Pop Phantom or different enough from Boogie Pop Phantom that I should watch I've it? I've actually heard people talking about Boogie Pop Phantom recently, which is an anime I completely forgot about. It like, <laughs> was good. And then somebody came out and was like, oh, that shit. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, okay. It was kind of overlooked in its era? I think it was... Someone was talking about it because the original thing it was based on was apparently really good, and someone was talking about that. But I guess this show, kind of like Steins Gate, I mean, I don't want to say the same thing about multiple shows, but these are both shows that I hear a lot of anime fans talk about, but I don't hear any of my, like, anime friends talking right, about it. Right, well, I think what's happened is that there are certain shows that are sort of in that mainstream, ultra-popular sort of, you know, anime thing, where it's the same thing as the Naruto's, the Bleach's, the Fullmetal Alchemist's of the, of the past, yep, yep. right? They have the broad appeal. And those shows are getting repeat seasons, right, that are smaller. So you're seeing, like, you know, Tokyo Ghoul, Tokyo Ghoul Re, Steins Gate this, Steins Gate that, Steins Gate something else. And there's maybe four or five of these shows that are continuing, as opposed to new ones cropping up all the time. We're just seeing the same ones over and over again. Mm. Uh, all right. Sword Art Online, Gun Gala. So this is another, this is another so, same thing. Except the difference is with Sword Fart Online. Sword Fart Online? Is that, where'd, you hear, where'd you learn that from? Dave and Joel. Okay. <laughs> so this is Sword Art Online Alternative, colon, Gun Gale Online. I don't want anyone to be mad at me for saying this, but everyone I have talked to who really likes Sword Art Online has intensely bad taste. Mm -hmm. Without exception. Mm -hmm. So all I'm saying is that if you have not already gotten on the sword fart train, <laughs> avoid at all costs. Yeah, from what I know about Sword Art Online, it's some sort of one of those MMO stories, right? Where somehow people are in an MMO or something like that, but it's also got some edge of pervertedness going on a little bit. Yeah, you know? it just it seems like it appeals to the kinds of people who really like Ready Player One, but only want anime nonsense. Mm. But also, ugh. so it even says up here, apparently this, whatever this Sword Art Online thing is, is them participating in a squad jam, a team battle royale. So it's a PUBG. Variation. Sword Art, Sword Art Online PUBG edition. Variation of the Bullet of Bullets tournament. <laughs> yeah, I'm not watching this. Okay. Uh, all right, so here's a big deal show. Ooh. Right, so FLCL has a new season. I'm sure everyone's heard this, I guess, uh... You know, um, yeah, it's, being, it's being paid for by Adult Swim. We're recording on April Fool's Day. This is not a joke. This no, is happening. Everyone knows about this. It's been in news for years. It's actually happening. Uh, I, it's going to be in English, but if you watch it online on the Adult Swim website, you can get the subtitles of the Japanese version. It's not made by Gainax like the original Foodie Coolie. It's made by Production IG, the people who made Ghost in the Shell. So I guess the property, they must have paid for it, right, with their monies. Yeah, I didn't look into um, the product, like why it's being produced right. the way it is. I have... I must admit, I watched the trailer to this uh, because it came out a while ago. I, I did too, and all I can say is I felt that little bit of twinge uh, back, back to the so old what days. It, what it looked like to me was the, the main girl, the one with the bike and the guitar and whatever, right? I forget her name. 
Uh, basically, it seems like she comes back to the town with the iron and shit in it, right? And then, but there's new characters there. I don't, I didn't see the previous characters, the kid and yep. his dad. Which can be dangerous, because that's what happened with all that Tenchi stuff. Right, and I didn't see the, the blue robot computer head guy. It seems like there was a different situation. Yeah. But it's that same original, you know, antagonist character coming back to the town and fucking shit up for all new people. So it's sort of like, same idea, new scenario, but same town kind of deal. So I mean, it's hard because on one hand, FLCL, like, I really enjoyed that show. I mean, I liked it. But it's sort of like, there are clearly people who are crazy about it. And yeah. I was just sort of like, I, you know... I, Though I, mean, I noticed a lot of those people, this was one of the first, like, really good anime they saw. Like, they it, saw some anime... So I really, the original, the music was terrific, and it seems like the music is also pillows or similar genre music, so that's great. I realize we've never uh, reviewed it, the original, on Geek Nights. I have to rewatch it. Yeah. It's been, like, 10, 15 years. I saw it in college. It's been super long, like, 2002, maybe. I don't even know when the original one came out, but it's been super long since I've seen it. Uh, but, yeah, so the music, great. You know, the artistic styling, right, is great. But, you know, the plot structure and characters of the original didn't really, right? It was more the setting, really, was exciting in the original one, for me, at least. So, so will will they will this new one tie itself together and tell a good story or not? Right, I don't even know. I'm cautiously optimistic. I'm gonna watch it. We're all gonna watch it. Probably. It's Though I will say, if you don't know, like if you, this does not ring a bell, you should go back and watch right. FLC. And the main thing is the new one's only gonna be six episodes. The original wasn't that many episodes either. No. It was only a handful, right? Which is why people are so desperate for more. I never read the manga either. But yeah, this is gonna be a thing you're gonna watch. Who knows if it's good or bad, but... You know, better than the animes we've seen so far This in this... Uh, in this uh, I'd actually be yeah. really interested to find out what people think who never saw the original. All right. Oh, here we go. This is the Shogeki no Soma, San no Sara, Tutsuki Re. All right, so I've learned that this is actually the Cooking War show, right? Yeah, yeah. Right? Yes? yes? Some of our... All I know is that show, some of our friends are really into it. It seems like... So, from what... I mean, we talked about this previous season of this last episode yeah. <laughs> it seems like this is yet another show that's coming out every single season yep. uh and i don't really have anything different to say from it than what we said last it's season right it's supposedly a good show but all the clips of i see of it online make it seem like cooking master boy the problem plus, is cooking plus Ma some pervertedness but cooking master boy was so good you've only seen like two episodes of cooking i've master seen boy. Five episodes Whoa. of Cooking Master Boy because I downloaded all of it for an anime panel I never made. Do you still have it? Yeah, I want to watch it. Let's watch it. <laughs> Cooking Master Boy. Only problem, it's a Chinese dub. That's with fine. Really bootleggy subtitles. I'll take what I can get. All right, High School DxD Hero, the fourth season of High School DxD. I didn't even ever heard what? of this. I've also never heard of this. I guess that girl it says has it's fox ears. It says it's action comedy etchy romance. So I guess it's like the cooking show without the cooking. <laughs> Hashtag. Harem King. Is that what... Okay. <laughs> so, it's okay. A, so it's a harem, but also... It, you can see it is one dude with a bunch of not dudes, right? Oh, so it's like one in the upper level. There might be two dudes. Maybe, but clearly it's a harem, but with some action fantasy adventure added into it, right? A wide range of girl tropes in there. So maybe like a modern El Hazard, but not as good? Yeah, and full disclosure, I really like El Hazard, but it's not that great. No. It's got problems. There's a lot of problems. <laughs> But yeah. I feel like this will be a bad El Hazard that doesn't even have a good fantasy mystery. It'll just be weird harem nonsense. Mm, whatever. I feel like there's no reason to watch that. Okay. Persona 5, the animation. So people are way into that Persona thing. And the thing is, like, I can't even... It's, there's so much stuff, right, that it's impossible for me to ever get into that. I would be deep in Persona if I didn't have a job. If I was born way later in life? If I just was... If I had free time... Right. I would play every Persona it, well, game. Well, because, I mean, this started as, like, what? Like, was it even NES or SNES thing or something? It was, like, the Moon and Guitari, whatever. And then it just spawned, like, a million prop, you know. But, yeah. So, Persona 5, the video game, is supposedly the way popular. But what I don't know is what... The anime people. What so, here's is... an animated version, so you don't have to play the video game? No, what or is, is this? this? Or is this go along with the video game, like, together? Right? And that's what I don't know. Unless I actually research it, which goes against the spirit of the show we're doing right here. Yeah, and this, you know, this property, Persona, Mona Guitar, whatever it is, even has, like, fighting games in it, right, as far as I know. So it's like, it's just so big, how can you possibly consume all this unless you abandon all other <laughs> entertainment? 
Right. I will say the style looks really good. I feel like this will be a really high production value show. Oh yeah, they're probably spending a lot of money on this. And they're doing like a full on season. There's 24 episodes of this. Yeah. I'm, I just wonder if it replaces the uh, video game or goes along with it. You know what I will do? I will watch the first episode of this. I mean, it's going to be less effort than playing the video game. The video game probably yeah. takes a lot. 24 episodes, 20, 30 minutes each. This will be 12 hours of your life. That video yeah. game definitely takes more than 12 hours to beat. I guarantee. <laughs> right? Okay. Uh, Wotaku ni koi wa Office mu romance? Muzukashi. Office romance is what this looks like. Story centers on the awkward romantic colony, uh, comedy between an office worker who hides her for Joshi lifestyle and a handsome, capable company man mm -hmm. who is secretly a gamer otaku. Alright, so there's no signs in here that this is perverted in any way. I mean, it could be good. like Wreck or My Love Story. I think it could be like My Love Story where it's just like a sweet office romance. But also, it's bringing in that sort of, you know, fangirl, fanboy thing, so you're still, you know, it gives that fan fiction feel and that yep. fan service without literal f cheesecake fan service. At least, you know, I don't see any. Like, even Dragon Maid, like that show, Dragons Aside, really focuses on the weird maid otaku fetishization stuff. Mm -hmm. Whereas this... This, this is just fantasy of... Final, uh, whether you're the nerdy boy or girl, or I guess this doesn't help people who aren't straight, this show. Yeah. It doesn't look like this is a good show for non-cis straight people. I don't know, I feel like those background characters will have something going on. Maybe. Hopefully. That would make the show... That's what they should do, really, to make this kind of show worth watching, is just make it about not straight people. Yeah. Right? But yeah, if you... The, the typical fantasy of... Nerdy boy and nerdy girl in an office. I feel like together. this is going to be an odd couple sort of situation where, like, the gamer shibboleths and the Fujoshi shibboleths are there. Well, because like... well, look, it's, they're both secretly nerds, but at the office, they're both hiding their nerdery, right? Well, and then it gets revealed and they get together. It's like, and it's going to be like, when are they going to, you know... Yeah, that I'm, tension of, oh, I, so, them, like, noticing the other person's nerdy but not being sure and not wanting to say something because it's a yeah. co-worker... That's what the show is. I feel like this could be okay. Like, I, I, would, I would consider it watching could, it. It could be fun. All right, this is... Is that Legend of the Galactic Heroes? I think it's Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Ginga looks... Eiyu Densetsu Dinu Thies Kaiko. That just looks like Legend of the Galactic Heroes. It's 12 episodes. Production IG again. Yeah, Gal Legend of Galactic Heroes. Is it a redo or a, a addition to or... If you don't know, by the way, in the, in the anime news, The Legend of Galactic Heroes is being released as a giant box set for like $800. Yep. Uh, Apparently there's no non-giant version of it to buy. Yeah, that's the only way to buy it. And I also learned that was, show was a, the original was released as an OAV, and you would, in Japan you would subscribe to yeah. it, and when you paid, you would be buying further episodes. So I learned that from people who know more than me on Twitter. Thank you, people. I don't know your name. Which does explain the sort of intent Hence, fandom of the people who watched the original run of this. We should make something like that. Where I guess that's what <laughs> Patreons are these days, yeah. right? Where you subscribe to a Patreon and then you're funding the future bits and no one else sees it. See, them. the trouble is, I am literally avoiding and ignoring all Legend of the Galactic Heroes stuff. Until I'm an old man. Then because I'm going to watch all of it. And yeah. I, that was a good I know move. it's good. You don't need to tell me it's good. Yeah. I know it's and good. And apparently that was a good move. Because look, now here's another thing that I can save to when I'm an old man. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think it's I think it's awesome that anything Legend of the Galactic Heroes has been remembered and continued to be made. That's incredible. Forty years from now, you're gonna get our review of Legend right. of the Galactic Heroes. Is that making more Full Metal Panic? Okay, so Full Metal Panic is a show that came out My when God. I was in college. We, yeah, we watched it in college. I we... watched the whole show because it was a robot show that, and it was yeah, and it was a weird robot show because the robot plot was sort of like a normal military plot about this one dude who was ultra badass and yep. super quiet and just the ultimate hero. And you would pilot all the robots and win the day. And the ending was really sort of meh. Didn't have a lot of yeah. impact. Uh, but for some reason, also had this classroom drama. And the classroom... Well, because like, that girl of interest... There's a girl who was important to the plot who was in high school. And this military guy has to infiltrate the high school to protect her. Right. So, like, that's... Like, the beginning of the show is all this silly, lighthearted classroom stuff. And that goes away. As the show goes on. But then, then they made Fuma Fu. So I never watched Fuma Fu. Because it was hot garbage. But from what I could tell about it is that it included like a cute animal and was all classroom stuff and not a lot of military yeah, stuff. I could a... be wrong, but that's what I heard about it. I feel like the problem with Full Metal Panic, the, like as a concept, was that the funny parts weren't funny enough on their own. And the serious parts weren't good enough on their own. Mm -hmm. The show was only... Like, the only reason we even watched it... It was like two is... unrelated animes and the same characters would go from the silly school anime to the serious It'd be like Tenshi Muyo 
and Evangelion and make them both worse and make a show about it. Right. And they just, the same characters are in one and then they're in the other, but the connection doesn't exist. But yeah, more Full Metal Panic is really weird that they would bring this back. Does this have the popularity well, to be brought back? One thing back I can say is so that. So many years later? Fumafu appeared to be way more popular than the original show. Well, also, the sh original show is popular enough to have Fumafu even exist in the first place. Yep. Right? So, I don't know where the fans for this come from, but hey. Just like, I we were, I was, I remember watching this show, and I kept losing interest, because it wasn't that good. It wasn't that good. I was just watching all the animes in those days. If it was these days, I wouldn't yeah. watch I mean, it. I mean, we watched, we shotgun Gasaraki, and we couldn't yeah. get through all this right. easily. Saredo Sumibito wa Ryu to Odoro. Is this the darker than black of this season? Action, drama, fantasy, sci-fi. Right? Oh, yep, yep, already proper nouns. The story resolves, revolves around Jushiki, spell equations, the equations that govern the quantum constant... H of that. This is the darker than black of this season. Grim loves to always find a darker than black every season. If this was the first time we did I, judge anime, I've only ever seen one episode of Darker Than Black, and I forget everything. So this is all on. Whenever Rim calls something the darker than black, that's on him. So it's up to you to call Rim out. Call me and out. Verify. Fine. If Darker Than Black is truly this kind of show, but regardless, there is a show like this every season. And yeah, look at all these, the H action constant. The, the, the tropes of this kind of show are sort of dark and spooky, right? The image is even dark. There's usually right? a city Badass or... Badass fighting characters, but, proper nouns in a CD, fighting but monsters But specifically, there'll be a city or, or a place or something that has like a wall around it, a mystery outside Two of it. Two bounty hunters caught up in a battle with dragons in the city of Eridana. Yep. Yeah, okay. Devil's Line. A college student is rescued from an attack by a devil. Okay. That One escalated. of many vampires that can blend in among the human population. The savior is a half-devil so who devil exploits... So, Devilman? Action, drama, horror, romance, supernatural. It's like an everything show. All right. I don't know. It seems like it's trying to be everything. It's only 12 episodes. The studio's Platinum Vision, though I haven't heard of. Tenet Bond, blah, blah, blah. He, well, he won't drink human blood is his thing. Okay, it's got some vampire action, but also some other police action. It seems like the show's trying to do a lot of j anime stuff, but I don't know what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> if I had to describe it, I'd I guess describe you, it as very anime. I guess if you, if you want to watch something that's got vampire action, then this is what you should be looking for. Yeah, if but you it haven't already watched... But it doesn't seem like it's watched. Dracula vampire action, it seems more like it's anime that happens to have a vampire in it action. Yeah, there's no a la carte in that. No. All right, Gold, Whoa. Golden Golden Kamui. I feel like Golden Kamui is the name of an old anime. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. All right, you tell me about it then. I never actually watched it. Anna Twitter's obsessed with it. Is they really? Yeah. It comes up. It comes up in conversation more often than I would think. I've no. I mean, it's it, all I can tell you about Golden Kamui is like that's a name I've heard before. And if you ask me what's Golden Kamui, I would say an old anime that I know nothing about. It looks like it's about war in Japan in the olden days, but how olden are these days? Looks like post-war. Post-war, pre-war. Post-war, gold rush. Which war? Civil? <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, this... I'm curious why this is also being brought back. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't even say how many episodes or anything. Huh. Yeah. Uh. I feel like I need to go and actually watch the original Golden Kamui. I think and that I think our knowledge here is clearly lacking. We need to know something we don't know. Yeah. And the fact that this will be brought back? And you know, the fact that it's coming back actually really implies that the original has something really noteworthy about it. Mm -hmm. Independent of the fact that Anna Twitter won't shut up about it. Mm -hmm. All right. Maho Shoujo Sight. So clearly it's Magical Girls. I don't know what they mean by sight. Uh... Looks so, like a somewhat serious... Oh, and there's a magical girl website, and viewing the page is all it takes to hurdle the main character headlong into a deadly world of magical girl apocalypse. All right, so is it is it going to be serious like Monica, or is it just magical girls with, you know... It's magical girl battle royale, it looks like. There's a bunch of magical girls all fighting each other in this magical girl world. So if you go to the website, then you get thrown into the battle royale? Yeah, there it's fight or die against a seemingly endless array of savagely adorable, frilly-skirted killing machines. All right, um, we're good. It's PUBG with magical girls, the right. anime. Caligula, but it doesn't look like it's about the Roman guy. Uh, it could be. All right, well, is it about the Roman guy? Let's the Oh, it's about the Caligula effect. I'm already really worried A about what this A virtual reality is. program known as Mobius 
screen. I mean, the poster is actually pretty nice looking. So people flowers. can escape the pain in their lives and live in an idyllic high school setting. If you if you know who Caligula was, and you hear this description of this, I, is, it sounds like they're just using that word because they thought it sounds cool. I am confident that weird hedonism is going to be a part of this. Oh, you think so? I think so. Mm. The main protagonist is one of a group of people who realize they're in the virtual world and form a go-home club to get out of the virtual world? Hmm. Okay. Alright. Why did you call it Caligula? This, this, if it's perverted, at least I understand. If it's not perverted, why did you call it Caligula? There's just something about this, though, that's like, I'm, I'm basing on almost just gut, right? That this is, like, slightly above average. It feels like there's something there going on with this, right? Where they take yeah. this sort of, you know, occasionally there's that contrived anime plot, but then there's a little something to it. This feels like it could be that, but it also feels like it could be that one I don't even remember the name of from a few seasons ago where the people go to the mystery town... And then it, yeah. it ends boringly. But this might be more like Matrix. Like, people are living in this virtual world going to high school, but they're actually mm -hmm. adults with pain from the real world. Mm -hmm. All right. Tadakun wa koi wo shinai. A boy who has never known love is taking pictures of cherry blossoms. A transfer student from Luxembourg upon right got lost, separated from Chami her and her go to her grandfather's coffee shop. Uh, so it's a sweet, quiet romance yeah. show. Slice of life, uh, hanging out, no magic or people anything. People are getting really mad about the correct and incorrect use of the term slice of life these days. Uh, so I don't know. I'm not, I'm not getting into that fight. <laughs> but yeah, this seems like a sweet, quiet romance show of like, ah, oh, a foreigner comes to town and I like photography and I take you to grandpa's coffee shop and we have a nice yeah. time it doesn't seem like it's about the photography or the coffee shop or any of those things it's just gonna be about these people yeah it seems like you know it's just a sweet nice setting for you know my only worry is shows like that often tend to be kind of boring yeah that's the point like unless you're really into it's just romance. supposed to make you feel like ah when yeah. you watch it and that's it i guess i just don't have time for shows like that anymore well you ever feel in blade and you want to feel ah but I'm going to watch, watch, like, Escaflote and watch some robots with swords. Mm, that sounds good. Hina Matsuri. The poster is just a bunch of balls. It's, com <laughs> it's comedy something, something Yakuza. So there's, it's a, there's a comedy manga about a super-powered girl. Who's uh, in the Yakuza? in the Yakuza. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. All right. Wait a minute. Genre is comedy, fantasy, slice of life. I don't know what slice of life means here, but actually... The last time I watched a Yakuza comedy was the Gokusen. Oh, Gokusen was and real good. I like the Gokusen. I even watched the live action drama of the Gokusen. The live actions are good. The the anime was just really good. Mm -hmm. Like I really like. But that I think anime. the live action was better, especially the yeah. first the first season because yeah. the characters were just so good in that. But yeah, uh, this gives me that kind of feel. I mean, comedy in Yakuza plus superpowers in Yakuza. You know, this could be a little meh, but I mean, it's got it's got ingredients, and it doesn't try it doesn't do too much. Like we looked at that vampire one a few yeah. slides ago. Vampire half devil devil nonsense. That one was trying to do too much. This one is doing just the right amount. Superpowers, Yakuza, and comedy. Oh, okay, good. Right, all right. Three D Kanojo. Kanojo. Kanojo three D. All right, high school boy who is satisfied with the virtual girl he encounters in anime and games. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, -oh. uh, -oh. uh, uh -oh. doesn't have friends, lives in his own world. One day, when stuck on pool cleaning duty, he is approached by Iroha, a real girl. Oh, and the English translation is, is not 3D girl, but is real girl or 3D girlfriend. This is gonna be a show for people who prefer 2D girls and don't like 3D PGs, yep. and the fantasy of meeting the 3D PG they can fall in love with. Mm. This is not for any of us. Nope. All right, Piano No Mori TV. Oh, it looks like a dude is going to play the piano. All right, because I really like Nodame. A music drama. Oh, this could be a Nodame, but it, yeah, this could yeah. be like that. It seems like Nodame, though, had a lot more... Um, I guess more involved. Wait, Kai, born the son of a prostitute, has been playing the abandoned piano in the forest near his home. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little more badass, right? And a little less lighthearted than Nodame yeah. was, right? But still, you know. Practically breastfed by the piano as the son of a prestigious... Okay. It I, seemed, I'm liking the sound of this. This <laughs> seems like Nodame, but instead of like... Badass, I, badass Nodame. Yeah. yeah. I'll give this an episode. If it does the Nodame thing where it actually has them play the piano and play mm -hmm. whole songs. This could impress me with its first episode. Yeah. But yeah, very unique idea, A+. Plus, combining the sort of 
dark badassness with the, you know, music. Song. One problem, a piano abandoned in the forest is not going to be playable. It's a magical piano. Maybe it is. All right. Xi'an Pin Jai Ting. So cat, I see cat like, ears. That sounds like a Chinese name. I see cat ears. I see a dog that... I see there's there's magic stuff going on. A scientist has been... They've been arrested for conducting illegal studies. Oh, genetic modifications on the... In, on they their, made their children into furries? Yeah, that is literally the plot of this. All right, we had enough of that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait. Try to find a medicine to turn them into normal humans again. Dog human... Plant gene, spider web gene, mind reading. Okay. Eh. Oh, these they 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 kept their children in a lab in the house, but now they're loosed on the real world. It's like Full Metal Alchemist, only not dark. Yeah. But actually, as dark. Yeah. <laughs> I guess this could be funny. My worry is I don't I don't feel like it's gonna go creepy and perverted. No, I don't think so either. Yeah. But it could be adjacent to that type of interest. I it's feel like just instead weird. it's just going to be funny. Maybe. Anyway. Maho Shoujo Ore. I this, saw some people talking about this. This seems like is an A+, plus, but in the A+, plus way, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh -huh. It seems like it's magical girls who turned into big, muscly magical girls. Mm. That's really all you need to know. Uh... So she contacts the Yakuza to become a magical girl, which in this story What's means... What's up with all the Yakuza this season? He turns into a handsome guy in a magical girl outfit. Oh, yeah. Ore. Maho shoujo ore. This is getting an episode no matter what. A plus. I'm watching four. I'm you watching... know, I'm going to get a new metric. My, my metric, like, there's a, a very This important... is truly unique, therefore, I must watch. There is a question we can answer, because you might, if you don't know, we ran the RIT Anime Club for a while, mm -hmm. and one of the things we had to do was help decide... What four shows every week would we show one this episode? This would get of? watched. This would definitely be shown to the RIT anime club. Absolutely. I, I, would, I would hunger strike in the e-board until we did it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning, I would watch one episode of this. I'm down for this. I mean, come on. All right, Megalo Boxer. Wait a minute, Robot Boxer. No, so it's related. So if you don't know, Ashita no Joe, Tomorrow's Joe, is like one of the most famous, greatest, most important animes there ever was. It's about though. like legit boxing. Right, I haven't seen it. It's a sports anime. I've but seen some of it's it. It's like the penult. It's, I don't know, it's not penultimate. Penultimate? That's not the right word. No, that's not the right word. It is sort of like the, one of the, the you know. It's, it's the height of serious sports anime that is pretty realistic. Yeah. As opposed to, say, uh,. Visor, whatever the football was. It's one. like the progenitor of all sports anime came from Tomorrow's Joe. Or Ice Shield Twenty One is not that. No, it's like one of the key sports animes, right? So th it's fifty years old, Ashita no Joe. Goddamn. Uh, but this is a project for that fiftieth anniversary. Uh, so it's going to be a thirteen episode sports drama that is similar to Tomorrow's Joe, but seems to involve robot boxing instead of real boxing. Unless that is, I mean, based on that image, that might just be a good poster for the show. Might be allegory, we don't know. I don't know, I can, I, I haven't watched the trailer, but I see some metal go sparking in the trailer, yeah. which it implies it's actually robot boxing. I feel like we need to watch an episode of this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You should watch the original one. Yeah. Uh, Kakuryo no Yadomeshi. Oh, the girl sees spirits, prides herself in her cooking, feeding some agricultural spirits when a god comes down. Okay. Takes her away. There's a lot going on here already. I wonder, and it's like, I don't think... To make him... So, I guess her grandpa had debts, and this god forces her to be his bride. Oh. This is Zeus style. Oh. Okay. Okay. I thought I was getting almost in like a tiny bit of eccentric family feeling, but clearly that's not the case. I mean, granted, that is basically the plot of Magus Bride, and that show's actually pretty good. Is it? I yeah. I watched a few episodes. I watched a bunch of it. I could keep watching it. Hmm. Too slow. But what do you want? I mean, <laughs> I mean, at least the it, you know when you look at the image, it seems like one of those typical you know supernatural, but you know sort of ancient Japanese yep. style. Deals. But like, if you say it's but too slow, Mushishi does not move fast, and Mushishi you like that. Mushishi doesn't have a plot to move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, it seems like that visually, this is what that is. But there's a lot of crazy, weird plot going on with the debts and the you know whatnot, supernaturals. All right, Jude Shinki Pandora. 
an experimental energy device. Is uh, it? It seems to me like a lot of the anime we've seen this season are all about experimental something. Like there was the one we just yeah did with the experimenting Experiment on, on your the kids. children, experimenting yeah. in the quantum something. There's lots of these sort of crazy like quantum reactor is both capitalized and in quotes. Blah, 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 it messes up, bathing the world in unknown energy energies in an incident known as the Shoryu Crisis. Okay. It's the, that is the same plot as Giant Robo, and I feel like there's no way this will be as good as Giant Robo. Giant Robo is one of my favorite anime ever. Mm. Uh, I feel like whatever the Shoryu Crisis was will never live up to the tragedy of Basharl. Because <laughs> the tragedy of Basharl in Giant Robo is one of the few times where there's a, like, proper noun capitalized that's referenced the whole show and usually when they get to the point of revealing what that thing is it's not nearly as interesting as you expected the tragedy of bashtar was the first time it was ever more interesting than i thought mm -hmm. and more complicated than i expected i just feel like this can't live up to that i don't even know if it's a fair comparison i don't see any giant robots but mm -hmm. all right a manchu advance uh there's like the second season of Amanshu. I guess we talked about Amanshu last season. I think we did. It seems like a familiar name. Buttface Dog. We don't have enough to go on. Comedy Slice of Life. Already not that interested. Yeah, I don't remember. And there's not enough information here to say anything about it. There is no way that this is a show that we last episode said we would watch more of. I don't know. But I, I can't. I don't remember. <laughs> All right, Doreku the animation. Well, it doesn't mean I need to know what Doreku is. I do is. not want to watch this show. Fuck the... What if you could enslave anyone you ever wanted? No. That seems to be the plot of this show. <laughs> it's all about one must win over the other at the cost of anything in order for the other to become their slave. There is no way this show... So if you put one of these... If you, put, if you wear an SCM, you risk being enslaved by someone if they beat you. But you also have the ability to enslave others by beating them. So eventually one person with an SCM will enslave all the other people with SCMs. I feel like this Would edges it be better into... to just not put one on and live life? I feel like this happened in, like, the eighth book of The Wheel of Time. You didn't get into all that nonsense? Good. All right. I'm not watching this. Yeah, but that does seem more like a contrived Eden of the East sort of plot, right? Yeah, but I feel like... You've been given a thing with a bunch of money on it. You have an SEM. You can enslave others, but you can also be enslaved. Yeah, I just feel like this ain't gonna be good. All right. Uma Musume Pretty Derby. Oh, this is the horse girls thing. Is it a horse girl thing? We've talked it's, about this multiple times on Geek Nights. The derby is actually a horse derby? Yeah, they're all horse girls with little horse ears. You don't uh, remember? Oh, they're not going to ride horses? They are horses, but they're actually just girls. But they're horses. Don't worry about it. That's just what it's like. Is it good? It's they, really well ra animated. I can see that. Do they race? The yeah. Po the they, poster looks really good. Yeah. I feel like this is a lot like that old uh, sports anime. Battle Athletes? Yeah. No. Why? Why not? I feel like this is going to be Battle Athletes, but with Horse Girls. I think it's more like uh, <laughs> Horse Remorse. <Yeah. laughs> Alright. I mean, what else? It's Horse Girls yeah, actually, Racing. This actually seems like it could be fun. Cute Horse Girls Racing. But they're just girls, but they're horses. They're coded as horses. It does look like fun. Yeah. All right. Comic girls. So we have horse girls, now we have comic girls. This is... This, I feel like comedy it's, slice so of life is like a bunch of a bunch of moe girls who create manga. Yeah. I... Not as good as horse girls racing. Yeah. This. Nope. I feel like there's nothing going on in this thing. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nil admirar... Nil admirari no tenvin. Romance. Pure romance... Something, something, girl goes out of her birdcage. Bewildering, what? Imperial Library Intelligence Asset Management Bureau? Wait, there's way too much going on in this description. This seems like it is made, it's, uh, those, that kind of wording is the kind of wording the military fanboys love. Yep. Right? In order to protect her waning but family. But it's a romance show. Okay. The Taisho era didn't end in 15 years, but went on for another 25. Which, which era was the Taisho era? The girl resolves to marry a man she doesn't even know the name of? But before the marriage was take place, her younger brother mysteriously commits suicide by self-immolation and is found holding an old book in his hands? What the hell is this show? Gravity Falls? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Gravity Falls did not have self-immolation suicide. Thankfully. <laughs> this is really weird for a romance show to have that kind of explanation. Wait, and now someone has the ability to see auras? There's a bunch of magic going on? All right. There's a lot going on there that I couldn't right. unpack quick enough. Hisone Tomasotan. It looks like a children's show. That Happy also giant robots. Look at those big eyes. Those aren't robots. That looks like... That looks like a robot it dragon. Like a, it looks like a dinosaur. Dinosaur robot flying dragon. Is a self-defense force that consists of... Are they robot dragons? I think they're robot dragons. It looks like dragons and the little kids are piloting dragons. Yeah, they're dragons. All right, it looks like a kid's show, but they pilot robot dragons in the self-defense force. Yay, is this show. Yay, all right. Like, the dragon, how, like how to train your dragon. The dragon looks really cute. Ooh, butlers. Chitose motose. <laughs> <laughs> butlers. Chitose momotose monogatari. So I feel like the genre here is butler. I think this, the genre here is sexy butler man. <laughs> uh, if you need some sexy butler man, then who doesn't? Here they are. They're here for you. For the it charming looks, butlers. It looks like there's four in in the in the still image for the trailer video. There's four, but in the big poster, there's a whole bunch. So any kind of butler man you're looking for, they have it. Wait a minute, gentle butlers running a shop, but they actually fight supernatural batter, battles and experience a slapstick comedic life in their academy well they need to have they need to somehow kill 12 episodes of time you can't just have them being sexy off i just feel like episodes. four these four butlers remind me of voice cruise <laughs> uh -huh. which it's means definitely in the same genre which means this is gonna be bad it seems like it's in the white cross genre for to, to be sure yep okay oh it's oh. captain tsubasa is it a remake of Captain Tsubasa? Oh, it's a remake of the first series. Oh, all right. So yeah, Captain Tsubasa is like one of the most famous uh, soccer anime manga of all time. It seems to be a lot of remaking of sports, right? Yeah. We already did the 50th anniversary of Tomorrow's Joe. Here we got Captain Tsubasa coming yep. around. Yep, and we got her horse girls is racing. Is it because it's spring, so it's warm in Japan, and now people are coming out to play sports again, so they bring out the sports anime? Or just anniversaries are coming up. I, I know, but know. yeah, remake of the original Captain Tsubasa, like the number one soccer anime of all time, as far as I know. Here it is, so in case you don't want to rewatch... 52 the episodes! Yeah, it's a long time. If you don't want to rewatch the original, you can just watch this, and you know what? I just might. Here's the problem. Why are they making it? Because as we learn from Sailor so Moon that, Crystal, so that kids now will grow up with Captain Tsubasa just like their parents or grandparents did. Same reason they bring back like a My Little Pony. It's like you think any of the kids watch My Little Pony now? They never saw old My Little Pony. They never will. But so they the kids made... watching this Captain Tsubasa never saw the old one, and they never will. They made Sailor Moon Crystal. They sort of shoehorned it in on the anniversary of Sailor Moon, and they made something bad. Yeah, but this is just a remake of. This isn't like a... Sailor Moon Crystal is kind of just a remake of. Is it really? I thought it was more. It just follows the same plot. Really? Yeah, only faster. Uh, with well, less this filler. This is really not faster. Not as good. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it'll probably be animated better than the original. Oh, yeah. All right. But yeah, it's about so it's about a kid playing soccer. It's a shonen show. All right. Layton. Professor Layton. Oh! Layton Mystery Tantasha. Katori no Nazutoki. The puzzling episodes. Holy shit! So I think it, I think that means Leighton Mystery Dungeon or Leighton right? Is that what it is? Oh, Leighton Mystery Detective Agency. But that's not Professor Leighton. Is that Leighton's daughter or something? Fifty full length episodes. Is this going to be a mystery of the week show? Right. So it doesn't seem like Professor Leighton is in this. He's not in any of the images that I see. But this other character. Kytrell? Kaisrell? I can't see the letters too small. Trouble is, I fell off the Leighton boat because the Leighton games Kytrell. Were... Kytrell Leighton is the main character of this instead of Professor Leighton. But yeah, I guess if you're really into Leighton, then here you go. But I, Leighton's aesthetic was cute, but I never felt like there was anything there that you could expand into even a movie. Right. Let I, alone. I think, well, I think it was, was the aesthetic, right? So the aesthetic of Professor Layton got me to play the first one. Yep. And then solving the puzzles got me to play all the DS ones. Yep. I don't know if I played a 3DS one. I may have. But that's around where I stopped. And I was like, that's enough of that. I don't yep. need more Layton in my life. But there are some people who got like way into it and they freaking really love Layton. But I guess right? I like and the... And there was also there was that Layton Phoenix Wright crossover. We didn't even check nope. it out. But didn't guess, even take a look. I like the aesthetic, but only because it was given to me in drips and drabs. And I feel I just don't feel like there was enough there to make a whole show or anything. Yeah, I got my fill of Leighton, and I'm good. Right? So I don't know what that's even gonna be. I don't know. Uh, Losteridge Conflated Wixos. The <laughs> second right. season of Losteridge Conflated Wixos. I feel like 
Wixos is a really weird name. I see a lot of characters up in that poster. The genre isn't psychological horror or psychological thriller. It's just psychological. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what we might have even said about the first one. And I see a million characters that are scantily clad. Well, there's on the bottom, it shows characters wearing school clothes with short skirts, but they're, you know, they're just skirts. But then the top, it seems to show those same characters wearing, like, fantasy, not enough clothes clothes. I don't know what's psychological about that. I mean, uh, I feel like it's bad. Yeah, I don't know. Cutie Honey Universe. So Well, we already got Devil Man came it's back. It's going to guy season. Who's making this? Uh, studio... Staff going to guy. At least well, as no, original creator. Original creator. Director, yep. someone I never heard of. See, production, read, never heard of. The style looks pretty good. It looks like... We'll see if it's going to guy season. Right? It's it's about cutie honey. If you need more cutie honey, then here it is. Maybe. I guess if you didn't watch Devil Man Cry Baby, uh, watch it. This isn't going to be Devil Man Cry Baby. No. Because it's not made by, you know, but... I guess, I feel like if you're going to watch Cutie Honey, you should watch the old Cutie Honey. And I guess if you're a super Cutie Honey fan, you can continue into this eventually. But then why wouldn't I watch the old Captain Tsubasa? Maybe. Is, I don't know, is this a remake of the old Cutie Honey? I don't even know. Don't Let's say see. how many episodes it is. Yeah. Cutie Honey is what you might expect if you Google it. It's just the sexy side of Gona Guy with a little bit of action. <laughs> yeah, it is exactly what it looks like. All right. Winning 11, uh, Inazuma 11, Eris no Tenpin. So the right. other soccer anime for kids is... This is Eye Shield 21 type nonsense here, though. You don't know Winning 11? Winning 11 is like the other uh, shonen soccer show anime manga for kids. Uh, and it's a little bit... Compare, yeah, it's a little bit crazier and wackier. A little bit crazier? Look at these characters. Well, uh, this looks... I mean, I've seen other Winning 11 stuff. Yep. And actually, Winning 11 video games are a big deal. Uh, but yeah... This, Winning Eleven is a little bit less drama, less serious than Captain Tsubasa, right? A little yep. bit, a little bit, you know, funner, right? Uh, but otherwise, it's a soccer show and an anime for kids, right? Uh, for about the same age. I don't know if there's, like, a competition with Captain Tsubasa or, cause, or if they, people who like one like both. Yeah, I feel like Captain Tsubasa is definitely the remake, at least, is aimed at the older audience. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But yeah, more Winning Eleven if you didn't have enough Winning Eleven. All right, Rokuhodo Yotsuro Biori. Four men each help run a Japanese tea shop together called Rokuhodo. When one visits the shop, they are greeted warmly, is served tea, and are often helped with any problems they may have. Slice of life, the genre. This is this is going to be shots of food and pretty boys giving people life advice, and I think that's literally all that's going to happen. There's a lot of people who need this in their life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The question is, will the will the advice be good? I don't know, but you can still look at the pretty tea shop food. Because I feel like if you want a show where look people... Look at the illustration of that food in the trailer still. If you want a show where people come to a shop where you don't expect to get advice and in then you get the life poster, advice... the character in front isn't carrying food, but a cat. I feel like I'd rather watch Pet Shop of Horrors, because that advice was also good advice. I think I would watch this show if I wanted to feel like, hmm, but we already had a show like that. Yep. So I don't know how many of those, but apparently those are getting popular. All right. Hozuki no Rei Tetsu 2, part 2. Well, they're on fire. So I don't know what this is at all. It, there's really not much to go on, but actually... Comedy, the, fantasy, supernatural. Those characters actually look kind of fun. Yep, looks like we, it looks like some Oni. It may, gives me a Gokudo kind of feeling, a little bit, uh, right? I can see that. Right, where it's sort of like some sort of, you know... In mythic figures on journeys. I, I see a lot of mythic figure hanging out. There is here. really no information to go on here at all. But it feels I'm getting a fun feeling, possibly involving gods and spirits and a little bit of funniness. Speaking of which, I never watched the end of Goku Do. Oh, like yeah. I don't, I don't even know how it ends. Me either. I really liked it. Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, baby. So so there I, was Hakaba. Uh, so Kitaro is a really important part of anime and manga. Well, yeah. So so uh, Mizugi passed away somewhat recently, but Gegege no Kitaro is like you know this historic, very important manga that became a historic, very important TV show, right? Yep. That all the kids of Japan love, right? It's that very, I love. It's very important and very great about Kitaro and dealing, you know, with all the uh, yokais and such, right? 
uh, but there was a there was the original series is a little bit more lighthearted, and then there was a there was a more recent series, Hakabaki Taro, which was more which is much more similar to the original manga. It was better. If I described the genre, a little bit darker, right? The a genre of Hakaba Kitaro is "You are dragged to hell." Yeah. The end. Right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. There's a new Giga. It's basically a new Giga Gain no Kitaro. It doesn't have any other information because you don't need any other. That's information. enough. I'll watch it. Uh, but yeah, I wonder what its how what its interpretation is going to be of. Right? It's, it's, de- it's listed as comedy supernatural. I feel like it's well, going to be the is. yeah, but it's going to be the slightly lighter tone. I it think. is gay, 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 and not yeah. doesn't have some other name, right? But yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of old things coming back again here, right? We've I mean, got, the same things happen in the U.S. right now got, with shows we coming got back. Three sports anime and a Kitaro coming back. All right. Oh, so Ten no Ken. Speaking of speaking of old things coming back, right? So this is so Ten no Ken. I'm pretty sure is Fist of the Blue Sky. So I've only a few volumes of this came out in English. So at least I think that's what so Ten no Ken is. I could be wrong, but it's basically like this sort of prequel to Fist of the North Star. Shanghai in the 1930s, right? Where it involves you know Chinese gangland violence, but also Fist of the North Star. Dun, dun, dun. So it's before the end of the world. But still, I think it. I don't know if it's if it's Kenshiro's father or something was the character. I, I mean, mean, whoever that is looks exactly like Kenshiro. Yeah, just imagine Fist of the North Star. Only instead of post-apocalyptic world, it's Chinese yakuza. Well, not yakuza because triads. Chinese, but yeah, Chinese triad violence world. That's what this is. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Uh, what? Yup, he disappeared after dispatching the gangsters, and I guess he's back. Mm-hmm. Last period, Oari Naki Rasa no Monogatari. So many Monogatari's. All right, so War. many. Fantastic beasts called spirals are born in isolation. Those who can defeat these beasts are called periods. <laughs> okay. We know what this kind of anime is like, right? Where there's the proper nouns of the people who fight the things. Yeah, but this is like the lighthearted, bright colored equivalent of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this it isn't does, darker than black. It does seem bright and colorful. Which reminds me a little bit of what the hell was that anime with the guy who had the nose the the cute animal had the nose cone. Oh, that you watched that show. I knew. Better. I only watched five episodes. It was a generic, cute kitty shonen show. Yep. But this feels like that same mood, but this has more proper nouns. Yep. I don't need to watch this. Oh my god. Have you? You haven't even watched any of the Lupin that's come out. Recently. No, I have. Yep. So, <laughs> pretty much from the Fujiko Mine anime onward, because Lupin. Like many things, it's had a lot of ups and downs. Well, there's the Lupin years. TV series. There's a bunch of them. There's Lupin OAVs. There's Lupin movies. The movies and the qualities and the moods of them vary a lot. The same as James Bond movies, and James Bond, of course, is very similar to Lupin yep. in theme. Also, I mean, on one end you've got Cagliostro, which is like not like any other Lupin. Mm-hmm. On the other side, you've got fucking like Columbus Egg. <laughs> <laughs> there, there are some bad Lupins. Oh no, Babylon Gold is the Bab- other. Babylon yeah. Gold could not be further away from Cagliostro. <laughs> it's like they're two completely different shows, except the only the characters are in common. But the newer Lupin? All like, seem to be in the same sort of wheelhouse. Fujiko Mine was great, because it really harkened back to like, old-style And judging style based Lupin. on that poster, this is good, high-quality Lupin. You didn't even see The Grave of Jigen Daisuke. I, wanna, I'm gonna, I do. I want to see it. Watch uh, Fujiko Mine first. I do. I saw a few episodes of that. Watch it all the way through to the end. It's not about what you think it's about. It goes pretty I... pretty good. But yeah, the, you can't go wrong with the Lupin in the year 2018. Yeah, total like... aside, I ended up seeing a old Pierce Brosnan, Brosnan Bond again. Which one? I don't even remember because I was on a bus. It's and I was either Goldeneye or The World Is Not Enough. Yeah, you know what? Or... Brosnan is not a good Bond. Those movies are bad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think um... I prefer Lazenby. But I think there's one with Denise Richards in it, and she's way hot. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, Major Second. It's a baseball anime. Yay, it's not Touch, so why do I care? No, we had, yeah, didn't we have Touch last season? I think so, wasn't there? Did we? I don't remember. But yeah, it's a baseball anime for kids. Okay. I guess it's, it's you know, it's pro- I don't see it, this being like any better or worse than Winning Eleven, but I've never heard of this, so that's the only... It do- Winning Eleven has like a historic, it's been going for a based long time, it's a big the, deal. This doesn't seem like it's a big deal. Based on the care that is put into that glove right there, I feel like this is going to be the kind of show, like uh, the one that Emily watched, where... And it doesn't seem as fun and as wacky as Yo Pedal, so I don't see a reason to watch it if you don't care about the baseball. I feel like you're going to get nine full innings whenever they play a game. Maybe. <laughs> 
Gundam Build Divers. So I, I didn't watch Gundam Build Fighters. It's one of those shows where it's like, I, I really like the idea and what I know about it. My life just isn't going to be long enough for the me. The Gunpla to... Force Battle Tournament, I already don't care. It's just G Gundam with better animation. Right, no. So the Gundam Build Fighters is Gundam, but basically, instead of it being a Gundam show where people are actually fighting in robots, it's about people who build Gundams. It's about, to, you know, it's about Gundam modeling. Like, it's about Gunpla. Wow, I care even less now. So there's usually Gundam Build Fighters, but this is Gundam Build Divers, so they might be making Gundam I models see a that show... go in the water. I want to see a show like that where it's about people who make Gunpla and, like, Gundam models, and then they literally just have fist fights at conventions about it. Oh, well, that's what this is, only you see robots fighting. I feel like this is like if you want to watch something like Gundam that, Build Fighters is good. So it's supposed is it to be good? it's supposed to be good. Is it, it good? This is more of it. If you want, I feel like we haven't watched it for. I've a meant to watch it. All right, Gurazeni. This seems like a. This looks like super serious baseball. Well, no, this looks like a comedy sort of fun baseball. Uh, the genre is just sports, but the characters give me a feeling. That it's going to be a little bit closer to the Yoa pedal. Wait a minute. The baseball money survival story focuses on a baseball team that operates in a highly stratified society where the player's performance determines their annual salary. Mer perfect meritocracy, unlike actual baseball. Follows the story of an eight-year relief pitcher with an odd left-hand sidearm throw. This is going to be... I kind of want to watch this. The this fact that fun. it mentions... Sidearm, left hand throw. This is gonna be like initial D. In it's terms not gonna of, be initial. No, D. in terms of it's gonna zoom into. They're gonna talk a lot about oh, he throws sidearm and like really focus on no. why that's a big deal. This seems like it's gonna be like um, you know sort of like silly characters, but not crazy out of control like Yoa Pedal. Yeah. Maybe more like um, you know uh, like a major league like the American comedy sports movies from yeah. the, the 80s and 90s, like a slap shot. But I think it's going to focus on a lot of real technical, specific details of baseball. I don't know. I don't think it is. I think it's going to feel... If this feels to me like one of those comedy sports movies from the U.S., only in anime mm. form. Like Rookie of the Year with his... Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Oh, no, that was more like a kid's movie. Yeah. That was, I'm talking about the adult comedy But films. Rookie of the Year had the kid with a weird throw in the technical details of baseball. Yes, anyway. All right. Uh-oh. Binan, Koku, Chikyu, Boebu, Happy Kiss. Uh, Are they all brushing their teeth and naked? Yeah, that's the what they're doing. Naked boys in the shower. All I know about this show is it's boys who brush their teeth in the shower it together. It says comedy slice of life, so I guess it's comedy naked boys in the shower where they all have five, five different unrealistic hair colors. Yeah. Well, one of them has a realistic hair color. I feel like I don't need to watch this show. But maybe someone does. No, I don't think anyone needs to watch this show. Do you need to get in the sauna with five cute boys? I feel like there are better get in the sauna with boys shows. I caught two friends. Let's go together. Yay. This feels like a kid show, like Precure, but not Precure. Yep. The end. That's it. All kid right. Show. To be heroing. The second season of To Be Hero. Cle <laughs> clever sequel title. I give it to you. Yeah. We went from To Be Hero to To Be Heroing. What did we say about To Be Hero? I don't remember. Did, that we, I, did we even talk about To Be Hero? Maybe we skipped it. I don't even... Was it... Because this... Just because of the sequel doesn't mean that the first season was last season. It might have been from the seasons the where we're doing this. The first season of this could have been a year ago. Well, I don't know about the popularity number on this site, but I feel like most of the numbers I saw had four digits in them, and this has two digits. Oh, yeah. We should mention that. So, any chart does sort shows by popularity, and we go from most to least, but I don't know how they get those numbers on popularity. It doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. But I feel like one of them earlier had a thousands, and this has 53? Yeah, anyway. And maybe it's based on social media mentions or something? I don't know. All right, so this show, Oshirai Tante. When I, I saw the image for this on the overlay. Butt face guy. So there's a guy, and his head looks like a butt. Like, a butt. So is this a... Like a crayon chinchon? Is this a Koge pond? That kind of like design. He's chivalrous, cunning, and he looks and his looks are anything but. Okay. Meet butt detective. Okay. A gentleman whose cast phrase is hmm, I smell a case. If something stinks, it's probably the butts. Every day he poots the big city's cases to rest. I you know what I feel like this is gonna be like? A plus, I gotta watch every episode. So in <laughs> oh my in, God in Gog Manga Biori. Oh. There's the running series of the girl who's the detective in the class and the kid who's all... I feel like this show is going to be just like that short. I must... It feels to me like this is going to be 
cute little detective stories, but lots and lots of puns and butt jokes sort of ca invading the dialogue, but the actual story is just going to be sort of simple detective This action. is the kind of thing, if we still did but our, like... But the aesthetic seems kind of like, ah, like Kogepan, right? I, I'm like, guessing... Like, even more lighthearted and cute than Leighton. I'm still guessing it's going to be short episodes, like this is going to be a short show. Uh, it, it could be, be in long. the short show section. This isn't in the... Right? We don't go over the anime in the OAV uh, section. Yeah. The See, every the anime chart provides you with TV, movies, OAVs, and short shows. We yeah, yeah. only go through the TV series. We don't go through the rest. Kitaro Prechan also seems like pre -cure. Kirato. This feels like more pre type stuff. Yeah, it's it's out of control, cute, colorful, Idols who use the pre system already don't care. Maybe it's related to pre -cure. It says the word pre. Anyway. Beyblade burst. So last season we had our uh, card fight vanguard. Now we're back to Beyblades. Back to Beyblades. We went from cards to spinnies. Guess what? Next season, cards are coming back. Puzzle and Dragon. That is a game you play on your phone. Uh, and this is more... Wow, why are the animes based on games always way at the bottom, right? Because they're bad. But Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon are some of the most popular animes of all time. Yeah, because those are the two that made it. I feel like this is no different than Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon. You know what it might be? They, those were the ones that got popular, and they set the bar, so they are the bar forever. I feel like these are way popular with kids in Japan. Oh, yeah. not with anyone else, and that's why the popularity is four, according to Annie Chart. Well, there's two kinds of kids' shows. There's kids' shows that become, like, remembered, and people talk about them. Think about all the kids' shows we watch as kids that we never thought about again. All right. Future card buddy fight. Yeah, more gaming. Yep. Right? It's like, there must be some card game to go with If that. you live in America, you don't need to watch these shows. Maybe you can find someone to play these games with. Duel Masters. Yep. That's four. Is that four in a row? Okay, popularity one. Yeah. One, two, three, four shows in a row based on cards, spinning blades, mobile games. Also, Pokemon the cartoon is about friendship. It's not about the Pokemon game. Yeah, these are all... Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! is about the game. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Is, is interesting because it is just about the game. All right, we have done! Hooray! We successfully judged the spring 2018 animes. Tell us when we're wrong! Yeah. I mean, I guess, don't tell us we're wrong about shows where we had literally nothing to say because there's literally nothing to go on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so stay tuned. We're going to hit up the summer season next in about 12, two, three months-ish? Three months-ish? Right? Uh, and make sure to comment below and let us know everything we got right and wrong. Awesome.